Understanding cultural differences in expressing likes and dislikes. Hello, and welcome back to our series on expressing likes and dislikes in English. Today, we're going to discuss an important aspect that often gets overlooked, the cultural considerations. Remember, language isn't just about words and grammar, it's also about understanding the context, and that includes cultural nuances. So, let's dive in. When we communicate, especially in a language that's not our native tongue, we're not just stringing together words and sentences. We're conveying thoughts, emotions, and personal preferences. The way we express likes and dislikes can greatly vary depending on our cultural background. In some cultures, being direct is appreciated, while in others, subtlety is preferred. Understanding these differences can help us communicate more effectively and respectfully. Direct communication is when the speaker states their thoughts, feelings, and desires openly and plainly. For example, in the US, people often express their likes and dislikes directly. I love jazz music, or I dislike spicy food. On the other hand, indirect communication is more common in certain Asian cultures like Japan or Korea. Here, expressing dislikes especially can be more nuanced to avoid conflict and maintain harmony. Instead of saying, I don't like this movie, they might say something like, this movie might not be my favorite. In low context cultures, such as those in the US or Germany, Communication is usually explicit. The words themselves carry most of the message's meaning. Thus, expressing likes and dislikes tends to be straightforward. I love soccer, or I hate waiting. In high context cultures, like in Japan or India, a lot of the message's meaning is implicit, understood through context, nonverbal cues, and between the lines reading. Expressing dislikes might be done in a roundabout way, such as, I'm not very good at basketball, instead of, I don't like basketball. Understanding the cultural differences in communication styles is key to effective and respectful expression of likes and dislikes in English. We hope this video has been enlightening. Stay tuned for our next lesson where we'll dive deeper into how to express your preferences in various scenarios. Until then, keep practicing, and happy learning!